Public Investments Committee wants the Ethics and Anti-Corruption to investigate a, with a view to prefer charges against former KEMSA board chair Kem Bigatura and former KEMSA chief executive officer Dr. Jonah Manjari for their involvement in the COVID-19 medical supplies procurement scandal. Now, the Kenya Medical Supplies Agency shot to the limelight last year after investigations revealed that failure to adhere to the law in procurement of COVID-19 equipment, leading to the misappropriation of, get this, 7.8 billion shillings. Let's begin our broadcast with our very own Raquel Mwigai. Almost one year after Kenyans got wind of the impropriety in the acquisition of 7.8 billion shillings COVID-19 equipment, arrests and convictions are yet to be made. Let us be the A situation that has now seen the Public Investments Committee submit its recommendations on the way forward to the House in the hope that persons of interest named in the scandal will be brought to book. ESCC has been tasked with investigating the KEMSA board on the role it played during the procurement of the COVID-19 items with a view to preferring charges against former KEMSA board chair Kembe Gitura and board member Gesuka Onsare over their alleged interference. Additionally, PIC wants ESCC to investigate and prefer charges against suspended KEMSA CEO Dr. Jonah Manjari for signing commitment letters, an instrument not recognized in law, and ignoring advice of KEMSA directors meeting to suspend further procurements due to lack of budgets, among other things. A directive that the Public Investments Committee hopes will be taken against Charles Juma, the procurement director, as well as Ferdinand Wanyoni, KEMSA head of legal department. The committee also recommends that the Departmental Committee on Finance and National Planning commence amendments to the Public Procurement and Asset Disposal Act 2015 to provide for the procedure to be followed during the retrospective direct procurement. A preliminary probe by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, ESCC, revealed that KEMSA officials flouted procurement procedures by direct sourcing, with companies with less than six months in operation receiving tenders without credible financial records being presented. Nothing has been heard of the case since the Director of Public Prosecutions recommended further probe to the first files presented by the ESCC. The direct sourcing coupled with other procurement irregularities saw KEMSA procure COVID-19 equipment at inflated prices. Raquel Mugai, Citizen TV.